I'll just wait for everyone to come on. Hi everyone, hi, sorry, a delayed reaction there. Um, so today's craft, I'm going to be showing you a Christmas craft today. And um, we're going to be using the um, 21 centimeters by 16 centimeter frames. So I'll show you, I've got, got some here. Just some bog standard wooden frames that you can just pick up anywhere. You can choose whatever style you want. Uh, if they could be box, they could be uh, whatever. So here they are. And what I've done is I've um, placed a bit of wrapping paper in, uh, let's have a look, each of the frames, different colours, or you can have the same colours. My favourite. <laughs> but unfortunately it's upside down, but it doesn't matter, I can change it later. It's just for the purpose of showing you guys. And last one, you need four of them, okay? So they're all quite Christmassy. So once you've stuck your paper on the back, obviously put the backing on if you want. Uh, but I've used the backing for these. These have been repurposed so many times. Um, there's so many things you can do with them. First of all, uh, the first one you can do is if you place them on the table like that, Okay, so it looks like a box. Can you guys see that okay? Let me just slide that to one side. Hi everyone. So it looks like that. Okay, I'll just move it, centralise it a bit more. And then make yourself a little reef like that. Place it in the middle. Okay, and just put a bit of ribbon on the top to hold the frame. And then cut some letters out. Uh, let's have a look. Cut some letters out with the same card but obviously opposite like um, I'm, I've written the word Xmas so um, like that and just um, oh, this one will have to go here because of the S is the same so you sort of make sure you so you can see what I mean put that in the middle and the S there I've got a letter missing oh. I'm always doing that, losing something. I've lost my X. <laughs> it's supposed to go there anyway. So you get the meaning. You can either put the letters on the middle of the frames or you can arrange them oops, like that. Okay, and then just uh, hang it up. And that's um, one sort of Christmassy look. And the other thing you could do is uh, just place them on a long line going downwards I'm going to stand up for this just put a ribbon in the middle okay and just place your frames with a bit of a gap like that okay until you've got all your frames lined up and then just put the wreath in the middle you can do several so that's another way of doing them so you've got a long line of them all the way down like that and the other thing we're going to do today, okay, with these frames is completely different. I'll just put that to one side, sit back down, and I'm, we're going to show you what to do with these now. Uh, you guys like my lantern, so today we're going to make a lantern. Um, first of all, you need to, obviously, you can leave it clear or you can leave it with your coloured paper. What you want to do is glue on the edge of the frame like so and quickly before it dries but taking care because you don't want it to look horrible place them together okay really tight make sure the edges are nice and neat just hold it for a sec okay that's one done okay and then you want to do the same 
for this side so they match okay so we're going to put some glue all the way down and obviously I would recommend that you use stronger glue not just glue gun um, but maybe some wood glue that's really really strong a quick drying wood glue hold it down and again make sure the edges are really nice and neat because you don't want it to look horrible okay and push it down hold one it's going to be inside okay so you want the glue on the edge of this frame okay on both sides okay so be careful you don't burn yourself and on the edge of that side and then we're just gonna put it in the middle okay and you've got to work a bit quickly but carefully because the glue is very hot okay and stick them down okay that's nice and tight see and then you're going to cut yourself some cardboard really thick strong cardboard okay like so and we're going to cover that top bit okay oops my uh, plug just fell down <laughs> and we're going to stick that to the side make sure it's tight hold it down okay we're going to flip it over okay and there's your lantern okay we haven't finished yet so what I would suggest you do this is just a decorative purposes um, I've got some thin barbecue skewers and you can either paint them or whatever and you could just do uh, a crisscross pattern like that okay so what you want to do is just put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there and one there and one there okay and we're just gonna put the thin barbecue skewers in there and you can paint them gold silver red green whatever color that you have for your decor okay just hold it on okay make sure it's tight and you're starting to get your lantern effect okay um and then uh right here they are get some lights shove your lights in there okay and switch on leave that to the side and it will um it will glow up hold on a sec i'm just trying to switch up switch off all the lights so you can see um if i cover that up it will um you'll still see the light coming through on there and that's one way of doing it and the other thing you could do is uh, you can make it more decorative uh, you can put handles on them by gluing these down like that okay because they bend quite easily Oops, that one's just broke, broken just be a bit uh, you can just dip them in water let, let them soak in water and they'll bend a little bit better or you can just use metal or you can use the thick skewers and just uh, add something to the top so or you can use ribbon whatever uh, but what we're gonna do is we're going to get our little reef choose what size so I think this side where we've just put the um, cross on there like that and we're just gonna stick that to the top here okay I'm just going to stick that there to the top okay so it looks pretty you can even just leave this in there if you want and that's your little box lantern that we've just made using four picture frames okay um, if you take your time don't rush obviously this was super easy and quick to do um, it will look a lot nicer. You, you can put some handles on it, some more bows or whatever. You can uh, leave it plain. You don't even have to put paper on there. But I think it looks quite Christmassy um, with the different colour paper on it. It just gives it something visual to look at. That looks quite nice, especially when you've put the 
uh, barbecue skewers like that. You can even put a, a candle inside, but uh, not um, obviously a real candle, but a, a light battery operated candle. Okay, so that's um, how to make a little Christmas lantern using um, your uh, picture frames like that. Um, so that was my tutorial for today. Um, it's super easy, super quick. And also what you could do, let me just switch my glue gun off because we're finished with that. Okay. Um, what, what you could do is with the letters that we cut out, we can um, go a little bit extra. And if I can find the X, it's just disappeared. I'll have to cut another one. You can add them uh, maybe to the bottom. Um, or you can use something else. Let's have a look what else do we have here. You can cut, you can get words and um, stick that down. Let's have a look. You've got Merry Christmas on there. You can decoupage that on. Um, here's, I've got some more letters cut out. Um, you can even use, uh, you know my favourite little red car napkin one. Cut uh, around the edges so most of the white is gone peel all the layers off there's still another layer on this and you can just uh, from the inside okay before you glue all your frames together glue the little car to the glass okay and then fill it up with snow and some lights in there that would be quite nice that's a nice one to do um, I've got some felt letters cut out like joy uh, you can glue that on like that in white red or red like that that looks quite pretty now guys can you see that okay or you can use red it depends it depends uh, let me just switch the lights back on okay it depends what you guys um want to do, how much money you want to spend, whatever, how much time you have. Uh, so I've got these, or you've got uh, Noel. I'm trying to do this upside down. Just rearrange them how you want them. Yeah, like that. That looks quite nice. Sort of just have them in a line, or I think random, um, they always look nicer. Um, you see how pretty it's looking? So don't forget about the skewers, putting them all all round. They're the really thin ones, not the thick ones, the thin ones, because they're easier to go on and just paint them red and yeah, so that's that. Um so guys, uh I'm glad that you're here joining me on my tutorials. They're super easy, super quick and very inexpensive. Um so this is this is uh you can use normal wrapping paper. Uh, to get your effect, your lantern effect, just turn them over. You can even, um, if you don't like the colour frame, you can always paint them, spray them, whatever. I like the ho ho ho, but I cut it upside down, so, but it doesn't matter. Or you could get yourself, uh, which is what I did, um, I bought, let's have a look, I bought this book. Uh, from Aldi's, I think they still have them if you're in Aldi's or um, a craft shop or whatever. And it has different, let me show you guys close up, different coloured cards, paper, stock paper. So they're all Christmassy ones and they're quite thick. They, and that's what I used. Uh, but that's more expensive if you do that. But I just really liked it. It's so pretty. And that's what I had to hand because uh, all my uh, Christmas paper at the moment... Um, they're all uh, quite thin and um, they're all browns and things like that and obviously this year I'm going for the green, gold and reds so, but you can use uh, wrapping paper because it is a lot cheaper than this uh, book paper um, yeah uh, let's, what else was I going to say um, so if you guys like this tutorial let me just see who's on Hi Maureen, hi Glenn, hi Joachim, John, hi John, uh, who else is on, I'm just, so I can't see very, 
Hi Justin. Hi, hi everyone. Um, I'll just give you guys a wave, a quick wave. Oops. Uh, it's really hard to see on my phone. <laughs> um, I want to do. Oh, uh, hold on a sec. So if you guys are here Friday, um, if you can come and watch my live tutorial on Friday, um, it's always coming up with these ideas to show you guys, but um, I've got this, this one coming up for Friday, I'm going to be doing something really nice with this, all these are, uh, I won't give too much away, but uh, they're just, you know the candles, that you can buy from the shops and you get like two in a pack or something like that. Um, I basically wash them out. They're like frosted already, they're frosted colour. And um, what you could do is uh, give them a light spray with the glitter spray. Okay. Um, pop a, you can pop a candle back in there. And, um, but then we're gonna be doing something else with it. And using this wood as well that I found um, I found this lovely bit of wood but I'm not going to use this side I'm going to use this side and we're going to be doing something really lovely with this for Christmas you can use on your centerpiece so start saving your um, glass uh, this is cinnamon sticks always have cinnamon sticks around the house if you're doing um, your Christmas decorations because it sort of smells really Christmassy it gets rid of bad odours or whatever cooking odours because all you're going to be smelling throughout the house is cinnamon cinnamon and oranges so start cutting oranges up and cinnamon and it sort of puts you in the festive mood I know it's a little bit early but uh, I've got so many other crafts coming on and um, so um, yeah using oranges and you know, um, and stuff. I'm going to uh, teach you guys how to um, make some really nice mulled wine as well uh, with oranges and cinnamon and cloves and it sort of puts you in a little dash of brandy. Well, a little dash of brandy. <laughs> I would say maybe, uh, when I say a dash, maybe about there. <laughs> okay. Not that I'm an alcoholic or anything like that, but yeah. So um, start saving these guys because on Friday we'll be doing. I'll be doing a live tutorial with these and making something festive. Don't forget, uh, try and make one of these and um, post a picture and so I can see uh, how you guys got on. I'm gonna finish this off, tidy it up. I'll take some picture later. Pictures later. Uh, so I can show you guys how it's turned out. Not that I need any more lanterns, I've got enough, but it's just to show you guys. I might actually pull it all apart and uh, do something else with it. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how I get on with that. So guys, again, thanks for watching. Um, please join me on Friday. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel because at the moment I've only got 74 subscribers. I would dearly like to have more, at least reach 100. And uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget you can comment. If you've got a YouTube channel, um, just leave a comment down below telling me how... Um, you want me to improve my video channels and things like that. I'm not professional. I'm only just getting started. But if maybe you can guys can give me some advice. What I'm doing right. What I'm doing wrong. Uh, please share with your friends. Don't forget like, subscribe and share. So I'll see you guys later. And thanks for watching. And uh, yeah. Have a good day. Bye.